everyone and welcome to yet another episode of Take a Look, the European People's Party interview series on digital policy. And today we're going to take a look with Minister Christina Sinemus. Christina Sinemus, Minister, welcome and thank you very much for accepting our invitation. Thank you. I'm happy to be here and I'm happy to be lively in Brussels as well uh, and uh, to have the chance to introduce our digital policy of Hessen here in the European place to be. Thank you for paying us a visit. That's a great opportunity to meet you in person. You are Hessen's first ever Minister for Digital Strategy and Innovation. Uh, as well as Professor for Public Affairs at the Quadriga University of Applied Sciences in Berlin. Very pleased to have you with, uh, with us today on Take a Look. Now, my first question would be uh, about uh, your work that follows the commitment that digitalization should serve people. Uh, I was wondering what does that mean for a local uh, or regional governance, you know, like Hessen, and perhaps in other words, what kind of priorities do you think uh, policymakers should work on the most uh, in order to be the closest to, to people's needs and, and, and concerns and interests? Um, you see, as you already said, I have had the chance to build up a new ministry. So the Ministry of Digitalization is a ministry which bundles all activities in digitalization not only on the part of how we do it, as well in the part of that we will control and bundle the whole money. So 1.2 million uh, milliards of euro we have in Hessen for investing in digitalization. And to invest it the best way, we and the digitalization ministry are uh, um, responsible for the strategy. I've brought one with me. Great. Uh, Digital Hessen, where future is home. And we bundle the activities, the action plan, and the money. So there's really one coordination activity we have. And I think this is for being on the long term really successful, the key. And in building up our strategy, my main point is the people. Mm -hmm. So everything we do in digitalization, every money we invest in digitalization, in infrastructure, in AI, in SMEs, everything has to be the daily life to much easier for the people. So the digitization enriches our life and makes it easier. And how can we do this? And how can we actively shape this digitalization for the future? That is the interest of the ministry and of me. And that is the key of the digital strategy. Mm. And if you look now in some activity fields, Maybe three of them are giving an idea of how we work. One example is, in my ministry, we built up a center of responsible digitalization. It's in a nickname CVD. CVD is a research network, and it combines the expertise of science with the research and the universities for the government and then invest money in responsible digitalization research activities. So one of the projects where we put money in, in Civedi is, for instance, the pilot project is called RoboTrust. RoboTrust means we will research or we put research activities in robotics and how they have to be that the people trust them. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. a lot of the people say, oh no, I don't want to work with a robot. But we said, in the future time, you can maybe benefit from the robots. Right. And therefore, we set up in Sevedi this main project, which is called Robot Trust. How can we, for the future time, have assistance of digitalization, robots, where people trust in? Mm -hmm. Another example is, I have a, a, um, a council, it's called Hessian Council of Ethics, and there mm -hmm. 
all stakeholders, all stakeholder communities, for instance, um, somebody who is in the church active, uh, Mai Tai, Mai, uh, um, Mai Tai, who is uh, the one who is responsible for journalism mm -hmm. and uh, uh, digitalization, or people out of the economy, startups, are in a round table together with me, and we discuss mm -hmm. how we have to build up the politic that it will be as ethical as possible but make innovation possible as well. Mm -hmm. So to have balance between responsibility and innovation. Yeah. And this is important and uh, that brings me to my third example. We support a program which is called Distral. And this is a, d a digitalization program where we fund especially SMEs and startups to conduct projects enhancing various digitalization technologies. And a lot of them based on AI. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And let me explain one of the 70 projects where we already put a lot of money in, 50 million we have in this program. And one example is the Walker Share. The Walker Share is a project of a spin-off of the Technical University of Darmstadt and they develop a wheelchair which operates with AI to help the wheelchair users to overcome almost every barrier, mm. like steps, mm. like coming in a bus and so on. Mm. So and in these ideas of small and medium-sized companies, of spin-offs, of people who are in the university, we invest. So at the end of the day, we have responsible innovation in digitalization so that the people can benefit from our political yeah. support. Wow. Thanks for sharing all these uh, inspiring and concrete uh, examples on the Center for Responsible Digitalization, uh, the Council of Ethics, and it, it's great to see how you're trying to make that relevant to, to daily lives and really people-centered as well, also targeting investments better. Um, you've mentioned artificial intelligence. Uh, now, the digital strategy of, of Hessen states that AI made in Hessen should be a, a trademark. What does that mean? It means that uh, at the end of the day, we, we are now on our way really to make AI made in Hessen as a label. And this label is not only a label, this label has, is a synonym of, as well, innovation and responsibility. Mm -hmm. How? First of all, three ministries, and that is really unique, and I'm happy that we are on this way, as a coordination and bundling ministry, three ministries, the Ministry of uh, um, Economy, the Ministry of Science, and myself, we three decided to invest 38 million in Hessian AI. Mm -hmm. Hessian AI is a research center where um, diverse universities work together. That means over 30 universities in Hessen work together to research Hessen AI and we have, will have 20 new professorships there. So that is one puzzle part of AI made in Hessen. Another part is what I already um, pointed out, CVDI, the Center for Responsible um, Digitalization, mm -hmm. which have one focus on AI. Mm -hmm. A third part is that we really invest uh, not only money as well in networking together to have on the long term an AI ecosystem. Mm -hmm. So small and medium sized companies, startups, where we with our funding program invest in AI and spin-offs and the big industry like Merck. We have a big uh, company like Merck and others uh, in Hessen mm -hmm. which invests in AI and medicine, which invests in AI and financial. We are a big place mm -hmm. of financial. So AI and financial, AI and uh, pharmacy, AI and mobility, these are the three areas we want to really uh, uh, make research and econ economy connected. Mm -hmm. 
and we built up the um, smart uh, the the, the uh, ecosystem of startup companies. That's the third part. And the fourth is, we want to be very practical. We are in discussion in discussion uh, with um, VDE, which is. Um, uh, the largest technology organization of engineers in Europe and we in Hessen work together with them to build up a kind of a testing hub, mm -hmm. an AI testing hub. What does this mean? This means that we want to find a process of certified, uh, certifying AI, how can we evolve products in an AI process which can get the label of responsible innovation in AI. In this testing hub we want to um, build up in Hessen uh, as a pilot for Europe. And that is the plan and that's the fourth part of the puzzle of AI made in Hessen as a trademark. Thank you. I have one last question, if you could be <laughs> brief uh, but, uh, but uh, concrete again, on giving an example of a successful um, model for digital transformation which you've, you've developed within uh, your, your lender, maybe a resilient smart city, or what kind of, also what kind of assets did you use to, to build on? Maybe the lighthouse is my hometown, it's Darmstadt. Uh, they won in a competition in 2017 which, uh, from Bitkom. Bitcom is one of, uh, um, is very famous in Europe as well. And they said, we want to select the city who has a future, the best future of digitalization mm -hmm. and who could um, evolve the best practices. And Darmstadt won. So I live in the digital city Darmstadt. And there we really uh, practice uh, smart cities, smart region activities like lightning mm -hmm. with sensors, like uh, air pollution with sensors, like mobility with a digital um, um, board which really foreseen when the traffic light becomes green or red. So we um, integrate all the activities of a city in a dashboard of digitalization and try to be innovative as possible for the users who live in the city mm -hmm. and who, for instance, walk in the darkness home and with the sensors when you um, on this lamp, it will lightening and this is digitalization which makes your life easier. Definitely. Thank you very much for mentioning uh, Darmstadt. I've never been, so uh, maybe <laughs> that's uh, an opportunity. Uh, one final question, very briefly. I was wondering if you could tell us the, more about the kind of uh, uh, internet user that you are, if you're more about social media or podcast or if you're streaming videos like on Netflix? You see, before I come in the ministry, I do everything. Twitter, um, Instagram, Facebook, uh, email, streaming. But then <laughs> I have to, to, um, to really focus in my private life only of the social media I need to be in contact with friends and with family. Mm -hmm. That means in my private time, I only use the WhatsApp, a little bit Twitter, internet, sometimes Netflix with my daughters, but in my professional life, I use everything. Well, thank you very much uh, for joining us today, Minister Sinemis. It's been great to, to talk about what you do at a local level. Thank you so much for your work and your, and your commitment. Thank you for the chance to talk about it. Thank you everyone for watching us and see you soon on the next episode.